another book about bears, written and illustrated by Laura and Philip Bunting, published by Omnibus Books. Once upon a time, in a deep, dark forest, far, far away, there lived an old brown bear. No, 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 hold it right there. Not another book about bears. Uh, bear, you're kind of interrupting my story. What's the problem? Do you know how many books have been written about us? I'll tell you, too many. Whenever you open up a book about a bear, we have to perform the story for you. Even if we're in the middle of something really good, like sleeping, snoozing or napping, we have to jump up and do whatever the book says. Why do you like reading about bears so much? We're not so great. Hey, who took all the salmon? We're often greedy, grumpy, lazy and a bit ferocious, and we're exhausted. We are sick of doing all the work. I see, but who will the children read about? Not another book about bears. We can't bear it anymore. Bear today, gone tomorrow. Don't make me get grizzly. Grrr. That's your problem. We quit. The bear wore a pink tutu and rode a tiny bicycle. Oh, I see. You'll make us look silly if we don't cooperate. Well, it won't work. He chowed down on piping hot porridge, then upset a hive of honeybees. Buzz off. And turned a frog into a handsome prince with a big sloppy kiss. Nope. Oh, go on. The children cried and cried when their favourite character turned out to be a big selfish meanie. Oh, that's low. Fine. How about this? If I can find a better animal to star in your books, you'll leave us alone. No more books about bears. Deal? Okay, deal. Hold on. I know just the guy. Meet your new leading animal. Um, Bear, do you know how many elephants you can fit into one tiny book? Not many. They're too big. Oh, how about an echidna? Hmm, too spiky. Crow? Too noisy. Kitten? Too cute. Marmoset? Too crazy. Star-nosed mole? Too... Whoa! Flying fox? Too batty. Dodo? Too extinct. Crab? Too pinchy. Horse? Nay. Peacock? Too fancy. Earthworm? Too boring. Koala? Too cuddly. Anglerfish? Too ugly. Kangaroo. Too jumpy. Salmon. Hey, who took the salmon? Cheetah. Too fast. Tortoise. Too slow. Spider. Too scary. Gazelle. Too scaredy. Blobfish. Seriously? That's all I've got. They're all the animals I know. Well, 
Don't you see, Bear? No other animal has quite what it takes to star in all those good books. Sure, bears are a bit greedy, grumpy, lazy and even ferocious sometimes. But who isn't? The fact is, bears are just right. So what now? Don't worry, I have an idea. Once upon a time, in a deep, dark forest far, far away, there lived an old brown bear. One day, the bear fell asleep and hibernated, uninterrupted, for eight long months. Luckily, a few old friends agreed to help out while the bear took a well-deserved break. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. The end.